and 9-day forecast. So you'll know first, this is First Alert Weather. We knew, we knew this would happen and it's <laughs> yes. happening. I, especially when it was like 90 degrees yeah. this yes. past weekend and you know, we're getting into October. You know some big changes on the way and that change is gonna finally arrive tomorrow. So if you like warm temperatures, sunny conditions, soak up this great weather we have right now because there's some big changes coming in. I'm going to break that down for you here in about two minutes. Right now, sunny as we look towards the west, really comfortable. 77 is our current temperature. Our air is dry as that humidity is down at 37%. And you'll notice a breeze out there out of the northwest at 14 miles an hour, still gusting up near 25. The wind will ease up some this evening before it'll really start to pick up tomorrow as that cooler air settles in. For now, our temperatures are warm. Look at Ottawa and Garnett, 84 degrees. Same for Lacine. Around the metro, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Lee Summit and Olathe holding at 80. 78 in Liberty, middle 70s farther to the north. Evening plans, I think it'll be really nice if you want to go for a walk or jog or bike ride outside, dinner outside, just maybe anchor down the napkins. Temperatures will be in the middle to lower 70s the next couple of hours. Upper 60s the later in the evening that we go. Dry weather for us this evening with that really dry air holding in place. Tomorrow morning, lows will be a little cooler than it was this morning. So we're gonna start things out mid to upper 40s. So getting the kids ready for the bus stops tomorrow, they will want the jackets. You're gonna want the jacket for yourself heading out the door as well as we won't get a big rise in temperature as we go through the day. In fact, we'll have a stronger wind out there. So that's gonna continue to pump in more of that cool air. And notice we don't get much of a rise in temperature at all. 54 degrees at 11, more clouds going through the morning possibly a sprinkle mid to late morning. So I'd say between about 9 a.m. to noon, a very brief sprinkle is a possibility, but we will have that dry air hanging around. So that's just, when you're talking about rain and dry air, that's not a great combination to see measurable rainfall. So I think most areas stay dry, but just want to get you that first alert. You might notice a sprinkle or two. The big thing is this right here, the temperatures. We're going to hang out in the 50s all day tomorrow and we'll have a strong northwest wind up near 20 miles an hour sustained, gusting up near 30 as we go through uh, the afternoon, eventually easing off as we get into the evening. So highs area wide, upper 50s to right around 60. As we head into your Friday night, we'll have that clear sky, the wind will start to ease up, and that will allow our lows to dip down into the mid to upper 30s. So not a freeze, but for some areas, especially outside of the metro, you do have that possibility of frost. So if you live in a rural area, if you live more so in a valley, a frost is certainly a possibility for you Saturday morning. A little less likely on Sunday as our temperatures will be just a touch warmer. We'll have a little more of a south breeze heading into Sunday. 40 though, still cool for this time of year. After a couple of days with highs only in the upper 50s, 73 on Sunday, 60s for your Monday. Another shot of some cooler air there. 72 by Wednesday, or excuse me, Tuesday. Then rain chances return. We'll have a system that could bring us several days of scattered rain showers Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Then another shot of cooler air for next weekend with highs near 60 and lows in the mid 40s.